Good afternoon, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. I know you hear my music in back. Let me turn it down. I don't hear the rights to it. <laughs> but anyway, I want to talk about today about relationships. Make sure you wait on God. Allow him to pick your mate for you. I know it's a lot of controversy about God picking your mate for you, but he will pick your mate for you. And he will give you the discernment to know what a godly mate is. Because most of you don't know what a godly mate is. You know, you just used to pick a mate according to the way the world say. You meet somebody, you got common things and interests. You feel some kind of feeling that's going on. A lot of times that's lust. It has nothing to do with God. It has nothing to do with the Father. It has nothing to do with biblical principles. It has nothing to do about values or somebody's belief system. You need to know all these things about somebody. And some of you need to slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Way down. You're moving too fast. Slow it down. Get beyond that initial um, honeymoon phase of meeting somebody. Where you're so excited. You're all happy just to be glad to meet somebody. You know, it's all sweet sugar, honey, iced tea, all that kind of stuff. You want to get beyond that. Get into real life situations before you make these major decisions with this person. Some of you are moving way, 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 way too fast. And you're getting connected to demonic spirits. You're getting connected to people that God ain't even put in your life. The enemy has put them in your life as a trap. Some of you are in a trap right now that ain't even single. You're with people that's a trap. A trap. I met a 47-year-old not a 47 year old but they've been together for 47 years couple at the doctor's office today and it was so sad because my mother asked them how long y'all been married because they look like a good happy married couple so that was an assumption that we made and um she said we ain't married and then she started making excuses about not why she ain't got the paper and everybody want to say it's a piece of paper why are you so worried about a piece of paper and like i told her it's i want the paper i want the paper it has nothing to do with the paper. It's the two people that's in the relationship. People act like they get this piece of paper, go get married, and like because they got married, everything falls apart. This is the way she was talking. But I've heard this conversation with other people before. It's not the paper. It's not the marriage institution. It's the two people, the two people that come together to make that union. They're the problem because you didn't look deep before you leaked. This woman been with this man for 47 years and you can still see that it hurts. She was talking about it, Pop looking the other way because he didn't want to hear the conversation. And probably when they first met, this man already made a decision that he wasn't going to get married. He already made that decision. And whatever reason why he made that decision, he put those fears and those issues on that woman. But you can tell right now that woman's 80 some years old. It's still an issue for her that that man didn't marry her. You can tell that it hurts her heart that he didn't marry her. So babies, remember in life, get somebody on the same mindset as you. Make sure that y'all want the same things. Make sure that your belief systems are similar. That you, How you make your decisions and how you make your choices. How do they feel about marriage versus how you feel about marriage? Are y'all on the same wavelength? Even if you're going to have children, what are both of y'all thinking about how raising your children? Because this woman done settled for 47 years with this man. She 80 some years old and it's still an issue to her that he didn't marry her. It's a major issue for her. So babies, make sure that you know who you are, what you want, and don't settle. Do not settle. Do not settle. If you meet somebody and they don't want to get married, and they're worried about this piece of paper as they say, then that's not the person for you because you want the piece of paper. They don't. That's going to be an issue. Because I know as for me in my house, I'm not going to be shocked up with you. I want the paper. Like I told mom and papa, I want the paper. Because she said, I got perks behind being like this stuff. And then some of the older people don't want to get married because they don't want to lose the benefits. That's a whole other issue. But in God, you can't be living like that. But I want to put, if he dies and he got land and property or she dies, got land and property and they got kids, the kids going to come in there and make all the decisions. They're going to take over everything. They're not going to, especially if you got one of the ones that's evil and don't care. 
and that wants your property and wants your things. If that man died of the dead or more, that woman don't have no say so over him. He could go in a coma and medically she can't say no, make no decisions for him. Same thing, vice versa for him. That's an issue. In this land, you need that piece of paper. It makes a difference. Legally, spiritually, and mentally and emotionally. Because the person that wants to get married, it has a mental issue to that. It has an emotional issue behind that. Because like I said, I see this woman at 80 some years old. And it still bothers her and hurts her that this man didn't marry her. And give her that piece of paper. No matter what she was saying. And then she was steady making excuses about it. Trying to convince me. But really she didn't need to convince me. She tried to convince herself that she got so many perks and not this man not marrying her. But in the end of the day, she's hurt that he didn't marry her. They've been together 40 some years and they ain't never got married. What is that saying? And that man turned his head and he still ain't trying to talk about marriage. Because he already had made up in his mind probably a long time ago that he wasn't going to get married. And probably been out there doing everything big enough he wanted to do. Now he may not have. But he could have been. And he done drove grandmom along with him. And she done went against everything, every fiber in her being. She wanted to get married. And she done went against that. Don't go against your belief system. Don't go against your principles. Don't do it just to have somebody in your life. Don't do it. It's not worth it. At the end of the day, it's not worth it. Find somebody, a kindred spirit. Find out what their belief systems are. Find out if they want to be married or they just want to be, they don't want to be married. What is their thoughts about marriage? Ask them. What is their thoughts about kids? So slow it down. Move beyond the initial kiki, 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 And the honeymoon phase of, oh, I can't wait to see you. Get beyond that. Get the euphoria going. So that you can see clearly. And really get to look deep into this person before you leap into something. Because today people just meeting and within 24 hours they having sex. And this is even the church folks. Church folks are doing this. They're no different than the people in the world. So like when I address people, I talk to them just like they're unsaved. Because most of them are living like they're unsaved. Because they're not following big biblical principles. Half of them don't even know what the principle is. When it comes to marriage and relationships. But babies. My key thing I want to let you know today. Is slow it down. Look deep before you leap. Make sure that your belief systems are lined up. Make sure you are allowing God. To lead and direct your path. Because he will lead and direct your path. To the mate that is for you. Babies I love you. Excuse me for the phone ringing in the back. I think it's my mama's phone. But everyone have a wonderful, wonderful day. May God continue to bless you. Give you the peace that you need to be able to wait on God to do what he needs to do. Just wait on him. Just wait on him. And make sure that that person is lined up with your belief system. Don't do things that's out of what you want to do. Because I'm going to tell you, years down the line, you're going to be like that little mother I met today. It's going to be a heartbreaking thing. It's going to be heartbreaking because you want one thing and they want something else. And then you just settle because you just want somebody in your life. Don't do it, babies. Don't do it. Do not do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And especially with your soul salvation, it ain't worth it. Because at the end of the day, they don't care. Selfish people want what they want. And they want it how they want it. And if they can manipulate you and get it, they're going to do it. But babies, don't do it. Don't allow somebody to manipulate you and take down off your standards and your belief system. Don't do it. Slow it down. Let the euphoria pass by. Get over that honeymoon phase of that initial meeting and look deep before you leap. And I don't mean just leaping into the marriage, but leaping into their bed. Even though you're not supposed to have sex before you're married. When you're in God. But I'm telling you now. I know a lot of you do. So look deep before you leap. Before you move them up in your house. Before you do all these things. Look deep before you leap. Really learn the character of that person. Learn where their spiritual life is with God. Slow it down. 
Be patient. Be anxious for nothing. Allow God to do it. Ask God to reveal this person to you. Their true intentions, the true essence of who they are. Ask God to reveal it to you. And he will. He will reveal a man's heart to you. And a woman's heart to you. But you have to ask him to do that. Don't get so excited, so overwhelmed, so euphoric that you miss God. That you miss what he's saying to you. And I'm going to say another thing and then I'm gone. If you got to hide him from the people in your life that is really with God, something's wrong. Why? Why? That's the first person you should want to take him around is the people that you know that is seeking God and really got God and got your best interests at heart. If you're ducking them and don't want to take that person around them, nine times out of ten, they're not the right person. Why are you hiding? Why are you ducking from the people of God? Because you want, you want that opinion for somebody else. Because you may not be seeing things that they'll be able to see. So you want somebody to put eyes on them. And not just eyes in the natural, but eyes in the spirit. Babies, I love you and so does God. Have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. Wonderful weekend. I'm here in Delaware. It's raining. I don't know what it's doing where you're at, but it's here. Drop me a link. Let me know what state, city that you're in. Let me know where you're at. Babies, I love you and so does God. Have a wonderful, 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 wonderful weekend. Smooth the sugar, Wilgus. May God forever shine on you.